5300 that's the number that's what we're talking about today and by the end of this video you'll understand what that number and you getting a actual full ride partial any type of scholarship has to do with this number going to, going out of any high school to any college or anything you're trying to go to so watch the entire video to understand this this is simple speed athletics let's get it so 5300 is the number of universities and institutions in the United States of America right now currently knowingly uh, my knowledge <laughs> in, in the United States but this number is a little skewed just because of the fact that those numbers are tied in with beauty schools they're tied in with uh, salons they're tied in with like all these things that teach you like like things that don't involve places that that are really that have sports is that okay it has sports let's say that it has sports I'm gonna say they don't teach you but <laughs> sports but um, when you take those numbers and you narrow it down then you're down to like maybe three thousand thirty five hundred give or take but um you're gonna take those numbers and you still have to go down and you say okay out of these schools that I have available which schools actually offer my sport that's the big that's the big question so let's say you go you want rugby does the school even have rugby bro like that that's what you have to ask yourself so and there and i think a lot of the the kids that i've talked to and i've, I've helped they kind of they have their mind every time i ask them like where you want to go none of them really know but the it always comes around to a pack 12 Big Ten, some somewhere like that. It's like they want to do something of that nature, and then I ask them why. Oh, cause so and so ran here. Oh, because they did this, 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 this. And I and every time I, they do this, I'm asking them, well, how do you think that'll benefit you? And when it's going around it, and I'm gonna go into my first, my first, just going into my first actual number one. You have to you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with yourself about your abilities, about where you at at the point of time of you writing your college, writing your coach about anything. Like, what is your abilities in that sport? Do you honestly believe in yourself? Not just what your mama, your, your mom, your dad, your high school coach, your club coach, whoever that's told you this. Like, what do you believe in yourself? You could probably be the best athlete in the world, but if you go to a college or anything like that and you don't even believe in yourself and you don't believe that you're actually supposed to be there, you won't be there, if that makes sense. Like, you can be there but not be there. If that, make, if that makes sense, I, I don't know. But that that's step one, being honest with yourself. That's cutthroat. Number two, finding a school that benefits you. You never want to be that extra piece in anybody's just just a piece in anybody's like plan. You, you know, like when you go to a school, you don't want to be that backdrop for, for kid that was just there and nobody knew you were there and you were only there for a short part of the time and you were gone. You don't want that. You don't want to be that person. You want to be the person that when you come to that school you were that they're that driving force and I like to use the analogy with cars and things like that you want to be that piece of that vehicle that piece of that machinery that if you remove me your whole operation it's gonna be hard to start back up it's gonna be hard like you want to be that starter <laughs> and, I, and I don't mean by starting like football like starting like it, it works that way but I mean like to start in a car that goes out you ain't going nowhere and it's such a small speed, small piece. It's crazy because it's such a small piece. That alternator, once that goes out, that, the car starts breaking down. It just ain't starting up. Like it's car, the battery working hard. Everything's working harder because it's one piece. You want to be those pieces. And once you become those pieces, that's when you begin. You're begin like this. This is. I know this is where I'm supposed to be at. Not because not because of school. Is the Oklahoma Sooners. Or the Oregon Ducks or USC but 
it's because you're supposed to be there and you showed that coach and you showed those people that that's where you're supposed to be at and you don't want to be an expendable piece never become that number three weather if you don't like cold if you don't if you don't like the heat why would you choose to go to school there now you have so many factors that you have to deal with going through all this stuff like yeah okay let's say that was your last your last choice and option that's cool whatever use these as use these tools as your like your 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 next step plan like okay i had to do this but now i gotta change it up use this as your next your next plan right so whether you hate snow but you're playing football in the snow why why are you doing that it makes no sense at all so you hate the heat but you went to arizona like, it, it makes no sense. Like, you can always do homework on these things, and you can you can start. You're like, oh, you have three schools. Why? Like, you chose you just chose to focus on these big schools that you had to try so much harder for. Did Did you do your homework on who was there at the school? Did you do your homework on the people that were around the school that probably were trying to go to that school too? Did you do your homework on your competition from around the, around the world? Like, so many high schools, bro. Who are the top top ten? Who are the top fifteen? Top twenty? Or are you just you just hoping that your 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 highlights and your 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 Nevada track and all that other stuff is, is is working? You hoping for that, right? But the next thing I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in is gonna be do not put false hope in all in all your faith and your plans and your future in your high school coach don't don't assume that they have all the plugs don't assume that they have all the knowledge and all the all the the guaranteed tools to get you into the school that you should be at and a school that you should and i'm not saying every school every coach doesn't care i'm not saying that but they just might not have the tools they need to help you and at the end of the day once you leave that school somebody else is gonna replace you and we're talking about high school so that it's gonna it's gonna be a funnel of kids that come through and once you're gone it's just gonna be the, the some coaches might still help you depending on how your, your relationship was with the coach but once you're gone it's kind of just like well it was nice playing with you nice nice to have you on a team and that's it be your own agent be your own salesperson. Sell yourself to those coaches. Tell them why you should be there. You already did the homework on where you want to go, why you should be there. Sell yourself. You are a product. How you want to look at it like that? You're a product. If you want to think of it like, so say the door door salesman, right? So tell me how they used to make a living going door to door selling let's say a vacuum cleaner everybody had vacuums <laughs> everybody had a vacuum bro but somehow they was always able to sell some to people who already had vacuums and how did you do that you tell them why they need that product and how it's so much better than that thing you have in the closet and this thing is actually being processed to the people that they have on their team already that's why i'm so much better this is why you need me this is why you need me on your team this is why you need me at your school. This is how I would benefit you. And as soon as you can say it, that's the, that's the one thing in the world. Nobody knows you like you. Nobody knows you like you. Your coach can know you for years. But there's so many things that you could sell that coach. That your high school coach, club coach, probably don't even know nothing about. Sell it. Be that product why I say you have to be such a good salesperson on your own end along with your results everything you're doing the maximum for official sports sponsored by the NCAA the NAIA the NJCAA <laughs> is only a hundred and seventy seven thousand five hundred and fifty nine thousand divided 
divided between <laughs> 25 sports. Number one being football. And I'll give you I'll give you this list of school, I mean uh, uh, sports in a minute. I'll give you that list, but the top being football and dropping all the way down to I think rugby. Rugby's probably the last one on the list. And you got you got men, you got women, and you just, it all ties together. So you're you're fighting with a whole bunch of different aspects. So now not only is it the school, do they have a sport? How many people are gonna go there? How many people want to go there? How many people are dividing up with all these people? So you have to focus on selling yourself. And with taking with taking into consideration with this, that's where I tell a lot of my athletes, if, you, if you're good at another sport, bro, do another sport. Like, I've, I've literally never told anybody focus on one sport. Never. I've never told them that. Now, if you're not as good as you think you're at that sport, then maybe you should. And you're probably just extremely really better at the other sport. Maybe you should focus on that one sport. That's that's focus on that one sport. <laughs> if you're if you're just like you're on the cusp of like being extremely well, like you're running. So say you're running 47s in high school. Maybe you should focus on that. <laughs> maybe. But my point being is, if you have this other sport you're good at. And let's say you can't get a, a full scholarship going. Let's say let's do track. Let's scrap track. You can't get that full scholarship to track. They say, okay, we'll give you fifty percent. Okay, cool. But you could have baseball. And it's and he tells the coach, I'm like, yo, well, I'm already at the school. I, I got a I got a scholarship over here. Blah blah blah. You sell yourself. Sell yourself like a champ. Sell it. Sell it. <laughs> get the other fifty percent. You got a full ride and you're doing something that you want to do it's not something that you're forcing yourself to do it's something that you're good at and that you actually enjoy and they both will benefit each other in some type of way and they make you a better athlete and they give you more more time maybe a professional athlete you know it's all up to you it's, it's your goal your your time and it wasn't in your it wasn't in your high school coach's hands now breaking it down just to recap on everything, just so I don't want this video to be too long. Basically, one, I'm going to break down the top five things you need to do to make sure that you get somewhere that you should be at. Not somewhere that you're forced to be at. Not something because they, they tricked you. And, it, and I, I've seen it so many times. The, the top thing in the world, bro, when it comes to, to, go, to signing somewhere or go, doing what you want to do, Ink, paper, words. Those are king. If you don't see any of those and them telling you, hey, this is what we're going to give you, this is what we're going to do, ignore it. Act like they never even said it was going to be given to you because it's probably not true. Unless they put it in paper and they send it to you and they say, hey, this is what you're going to get, this is what we're going to do, ignore it. Ignore it. Act like they never said it. Because at that point, verbal contracts don't really work too well with colleges. They just don't. And that, that's, that's on a personal level. Personal. But, again, educate yourself on schools. Understand yourself and a level of ability on what you can do. Don't lie to yourself because as soon as you lie to yourself, you make it 10 times harder for yourself. As soon as you're honest with yourself and you can put that much work into whatever you need to build, it'd be that much easier for yourself. Three, weather. Make sure you're patient to that weather. Look at it. You see a drop of snow and you don't want to be there, don't be there. That's how it goes. I, mean, I don't believe in that. Me personally, I'm believing not adapting into the things. I don't do adapting. Like, I don't, I don't adapt to weather, bro. Like, it's just not. It's not me. I choose being hot climates. That's just me. But if you are into adapting, adapt. Whatever. Cool. Nothing against it. Uh, find the school that will actually help develop you as an athlete and even as a person. I, I've had plenty of coaches that not only taught me man they they built me as a person 
you weren't just you weren't just an actual you weren't just a an athlete to them and it's a thing that's going to try to get them a trophy or whatever's going on they were actually helping you become a, a man get ready for the world whatever's going on look for those type of places look for the places that are going to represent you and build you if you can't find a place that'll build around you they know what they everybody every a good coach can see a diamond in the rough and say okay I think this person is gonna be worth something this person I can build my program around for the next four years be that person again sell yourself sell yourself short you might not get that be that person but you just you sell yourself to the fullest ability do it again number five do not put full blind faith into your high school coaches <laughs> don't do that so just don't because i know a lot of a lot of coaches they'll lie to you they'll say oh, i know this person i know this person blah, 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 blah. i get you in here and they don't really tell you anything about what's going on and then when senior year comes around and nothing comes up and you say get a no from them and you're stuck because they told you don't be that person. Everybody has a place out there. Everybody has a place they can fit. You just have to be that person to find it. Don't let anybody else sell you. Sell yourself. I promise you. You'll feel a lot better about it. You guys have a good good day. Thank you for being here. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for being a part of family. Civil Speed Athletics. I'm out.